Scoring chance for the Bombers, deep in attack. Nicely done, though, uh, by St Kilda. Nettlefold getting the hand pass out. Fiddler the clearing kick to half back. Beautifully placed, finding Hodges. Rain starting to tumble down again. Up towards Ferring. Justin Madden to beat. Pack Rove by Hawker. In towards half forward. Bad kick, though, and Barker's in the way. It was a touch ball, and James calls play on. Up to half forward for the Saints in teaming rain. Bennett couldn't knock it on, though. Now paddled out beautifully by Andrews. Strong tackling by the Saints, but still the Bombers in the van through Hawker. Across ground, wide out to Nagel, and the rain is pelting down. Nagel up towards half forward for the Bombers. Terry Danaher's there. Cleverly knocks it on, giving Eustace the chance if he's got the pace. He does it pretty well. Now that ball is really slippery. Look for the free kick. Ball thrown by Bennett. No free kick. Foreman gives it to Bahaja. Bad kick off the side of the boot. First there done. Good play by uh, Fowler to Madden. Mark Paid at grassroots level. And Madden is about 40 metres out directly in front. What wind there is still blowing is at his back. A big chance for the Essendon skipper to put his bombers in front. Madden about 45 metres out, straight in front, remembering they trail by two points. Madden puts it onto his boot to goal umpire, comes back, over his head, goal to Essendon, kicked by Simon Madden, and they've hit the front, they are 7-10 to 7-6. Eight minutes gone, third quarter, Essendon have regained the lead, they lead by four points as Ferring gets the knock. Chance for Cunningham, pushed in the back. Receiver free kick, one of St Kilda's better players today. Plays on, kicks up towards the half forward line, should be a mark, and it is. And it's been taken for them out there by their uh, half forward Hodges. Gets a ball up here, brought to the... <laughs> comes out to uh, Nagel, gets it down towards the half forward line. Oh, silly free kick by the Essendon player. That was uh, Carey, gave it away. And the free kick goes to Kellett, comes up towards the half forward line for St Kilda. Stack of players, umpire James says he wants it. And the lead is only four points in favour of Essendon. With nearly nine minutes of play gone in this third quarter. No decisive knockdown, picked up by Justin Madden, kicks it back towards the half back line. A chance for Jeff Dunn, grabs the ball, turns, steadies. Gets a kick, not a very well delivered one. Could be a mark, and it is to Jeff Cunningham. A hand pass out to Michael Roberts. Turns, got away from his opponent, Nagel. Kicks it up towards the half-forward line. It bounces, skids along the ground. A chance once more for Politic off the carpet. And he's just missed it. It's another behind who's and killed them. They are now 7-7 to 7-10. They trail by three points. The rain stopped as Crow puts the ball back into play and goes down the middle. Looking for Justin Madden. Ferring up from behind. Gets the better of the exchange. All Essendon know on the ground. Danaher goes down, a high tackle. Neil Danaher's free kick. Centre half back for the Bombers. Gets himself in a bother, but kicks well to half forward. Mark, not paid. Good play, though, uh, by the Saints. Now Roberts, out to Dunn. Back up towards half forward. Not much there. Cunningham again. He's been a sterling player for the Saints. Up to Jezelenko. It was good play. Over the top to Philetic. Oh, yes. Great passage by the Saints. Cunningham the initiator again. And quick thinking by Jezelenko to work the ball onto Philetic. And he's only 20 metres out on a 45 degree angle. Kick three in the third quarter. And the Saints would love one here. They're down by three points. Looks good. It's home. Fourth goal to Milan Philetic. Going onto the field for St Kilda is Simon Meehan again. St Kilda have hit the front. They lead by three points. Very slippery conditions. Rain poured here just a few minutes ago. And St Kilda lead. They are 8-7 to 7-10. Umpire James throws the ball in the air. 
No decisive knockdown, but for Bahaja gets it down towards the half forward line. Good play by Bromberg. Bromberg back to the half forward line. Cunningham in front again. He's giving Hawker a stick on this win. He gets it up in the back. The umpire says play on because his teammate Dunn received the ball, kicks it up here towards the lead, and that's good play because the ball has been got forth and killed though by Nettlefold. He's on the centre wing, nearly half forward flank, goes across, picks it in the man in the mark. Bad play by Nettlefold. And we'll see the umpire come in and he'll say play on. Back to Trevor Barker. His kick goes across here towards Thomas. Pretty good player, this fellow. But Essendon are in the band. Free kick to Danaher, and that was Terry. And he's in the centre wing for six. <laughs> Fell over. Not with fright, but because of the slippery conditions. His kick was out here towards the half forward flank. A big chance now as the ball has come across here towards Foreman. Steadies. Gee, taking a month of Sundays to get rid of the ball. Finally, he does. Grab here towards the half forward line. Marty Bromberg is there. So is Fowler. The umpire says play on as the ball comes back towards Justin. Uh, at least Simon, Simon Madden, kicks it out towards the forward line, down here, can't make it. Big chance now, as the ball came across to Sartori, and we'll see the ball kept in play. Now the umpire says, play on, beautiful piece of play there by the Essendon defender, uh, Essendon attacker, and we'll see another behind to the score. Couldn't pick him up, I got a feeling that it could have been Stephen Carey. 13 minutes gone. 7-11, 53 Essendon, 8 7 55 St Kilda. Cox, long booming kick into the wind. Hawker's there, interfered with by Cunningham blatantly. About the first mistake Jeff Cunningham's made in this third term. He hasn't made many for the day. Probably pick of the uh, 40 players on the field. Hawker, play on was called. That's why the man was able to run over the mark and smother. But it's an Essendon free kick to Clark. No, it's Foreman to take it. Clark is uh, calling for the ball. Foreman just forward at the centre line. Not a good kick to half forward. Almost an Essendon mark. Now Stoneham the chance. Comes out to Fowler. Left foot snap. Looks good. Oh, what a good goal. Brent Fowler. Right in front of the Essendon goal, who are 8-12 to 8-7. Simon Madden took the ball out of the air. Gives it to Bennett. Snap for goal. And it's there. Point. 19 minutes gone, third term. The Bombers by 11 points. Good knock by Ferring. This looks better. Roberts taking the hand pass. Wild old kick, though, out of bounds in the forward pocket. Right forward pocket for St Kilda. Justin Madden versus Ferring. Ferring the hand pass out, but uh, not getting it to a teammate in the clear. So a ball up about 25 metres out from St Kilda's goal front. They badly need a goal. Down 11 points. On a share there, barging through was Meehan. Couldn't go the whole way. In fact, it was nettle cold. And an Essendon free kick. Is the chance to burst away. Carey kicking towards half forward. Fowler trapped under the ball. Spoils well. And James calls for it. Centre half forward for the Bombers. Essendon lead 9-12 to 8-7. 20 minutes gone, third quarter. Kicked off the ground by Fowler. It's going over the goal square. Terry Danner. <laughs> Mr. Woody first. Got him with his second. And they go to 10-12 to 8-7. 21 minutes gone. Can the Saints lift? Justin Madden wins. Bennett doing pretty well. Up towards Terry Danaher again. Umpire Soares caught for the ball. But Essendon with the run on at the moment. Leading by 17 points. Good handball by the Saints in defence. Cox out to Dunn, up towards Cunningham. Got the run of it, and he's got five metres. Lovely old one-hand pick-up. Inside to Fiddler was good, and then a good shepherd from Cunningham. Up towards half-board, not much there for St Kilda. All Essendon in defence, they're right on top at that end. Bennett beautifully to Andrews. On to Nagel. Barker chasing, but Nagel's got plenty of pace. Back towards full forward. Bahadja under it, has got it!
smallest man in BFL football. This is his 14th kick. Stood his ground and took a sensational mark. 25 metres out directly in front. Good enough. The Bombers lead by 23 points. As the game, it was fairly even to half-time when St Kilda led by a point, but the Bombers led by 18 points at three-quarter time and ran out winners by 25 points. For Essendon, Bennett, Bahagia and Terry Danaher each kicked two goals and for St Kilda, Folletic kicked four. Well, it was a welcome breakthrough for Essendon's coach Kevin Sheedy who hadn't experienced the winning feeling since round two when the Bombers beat North. Since then, it had been four losses culminating in the eight-point defeat to Footscray last week. After the game, Tim Lane asked the former Richmond champion whether this win would get their confidence back after last week's debacle. Um, I know probably last week lots of people talk about it, which is great, but I think that um, I'm in the selection of the team and some of the players that I pick in the team, I'm trying to pick good, hard, tough goers. And, and that's the thing that I feel that Essendon over the years haven't recruited and haven't put in their teams. And I feel that for a while it's going to be a testing time until I get the, the, the manpower, not the player power, the manpower into the team that I really believe will be handy. And players like Carey and Bahadjar and that are very good and Terry Nahar played a great game today and he was